I'm back with another box. I'm gonna actually, I might even open all of them today. Uh, I've got quite a few. Man, these are sealed tight. But yeah, I'm gonna go a little faster through this one. I'll do the... Speed through the green, cause... You've seen the cards all the time. Slow through the whites. Tour, a reverse Blitzel and Yvelta. What's the first cold card? Right cold. Oh, Black Market Prism. You know any of the other like valuable cards in the set? Drop a comment below. I'd love to know. I'm gonna do my little research after, but if you can help, it's always appreciated. Genghis Khan, Heliosk, Sabrina, suggestion, Marie, a Volpix, a Joltik, a Blitzel, uh, Squirtle, a Reverse Persian, and Zeraora. Yeah, that's great, man. I'm just gonna go all the way. Gengar Miku, pretty sweet. It's the one I've got though, so it's not too bad, but hey. I should actually look at the prices so I know what trainers and whatnot I'm looking for. But ooh, Ampharos, Fuller. Uh, the gold and yellow cards always look pretty dope. It's just a nice, aesthetically pleasing colour. Is that the first full art we've hit? Except for the trainer? We had a full art trainer, but no full art GX in the last one, did we? I'll leave Jirachi there because I saw somewhere that it's worth something. The ability is pretty dope. I'll have to check it out. Brilliant Forest and Electrode. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, man. I just need a. Could just turn into like a profit or loss series. Every booster box we just go through. Got a reverse Flaffy, and the hit is kind of flopped that easy to flop that a lot. But hey, Hooper GX. Do a profit or loss series where I just do a breakdown of 
if we made anything in the boxes or not. If you're ever thinking about trying to make money off selling Pokemon cards from sealed booster boxes, the earlier the set releases, the better, because number one is code cards. Their price goes down over time. The only thing that's consistent is bulk. And then GX's, their price goes down over time. Turn label. And the hit is... Absol. In fact, every card goes down over time. So, the first few weeks are prime time for selling. Tabu Coco Prism. I like the little info or little text at the end saying how much the breakdown is for bulk uh, code cards. Hits. How much you should expect. You can average it out and see if it's worth it. Erica's hospitality. Dragon Eye looks pretty dope. I was actually quite lazy in my listings for Lost Thunder, so I still got loads of Lost Thunder bulk and even decent trainers and hollows and stuff left over. And what do we get? Keep flopping, but it's not in there. I really need to sort that out. The grip. It's the grip that's weird. Bear Cobalion. Just a regular. Dangerous Drill. Ah, Nanu. Full art train, that's pretty good. Slightly to the side, I don't know. Lugia Hollow. Two, four. I don't know what I'm looking for in the green pack, so yeah, I need to... After this vid, I'm going to check the prices of some of the commons and uncommon trainers. And the Hollow, so I know... What else to be putting down on the hit table? To give you guys a more accurate representation. Mr. Mime. That's the first one of those. Pretty dope. Nantos looks pretty dope. Some of the artworks in this set are really cool. But yeah, that's that one. Let me just spread it out a little bit. Two, four, six. Yeah, pretty average box. Six hits and two prisms. One of each of these again. But yeah, I'll give you a breakdown. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.